Hi everyone, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. I am Iram Tasneem and today I will be sharing an easy watercolor card with you featuring a couple of new products from the August release. So I am going to prep this 9 by 12 watercolor cardstock with anti-static powder tool. Then I'll stamp the Darling Rose stamp in embossing ink and heat emboss this in pure white embossing powder. I will also heat emboss a few leaves. Next, I'll cover the image with water and do some wet on wet watercoloring. For this, I'll add pigmented watercolor and spread it all over the image. For a light color wash, I'll increase the speed but if you wish to color alongside me then go to settings and choose the speed that is to your liking. I'll apply concentrated cherry blossom pigment on the base of the petal and pull it out with a clean brush, clean water basically. Wet on wet technique is an easy watercolor technique you guys and it gives very fast results. You will let the water do most of the work for you. Use your brush to move around the pigment if uh, there is any need for it. I'll leave you with some music. I'll secure two of the oval nesting dies to make a frame out of it. This is how the oval frame looks. I have uh, stacked two of these together to make it uh, sturdy. And I'm using the guide on the mat to figure out the placement of the florals. Now I'll work on the card front. For this, I will apply water to the panel leaving the edges or the borders dry. This is uh, the A2 um, watercolor cardstock, the loose sheets that is. I'll drop in some seashore pigment from the artist's watercolor pen set and you can clearly see how wet the panel is. I keep adding to this till I'm happy with the color concentration. Then I'll go in and add a bit of aquamarine watercolor from the 14 pan metallic watercolor set. These are so shimmery that a little bit of this pigment will add shimmer to my entire background and it will be subtle since I am uh, mixing it with regular watercolor and um, water, hence uh, toning it down a bit. Now to add interest, I'll add one of the brighter greens. I think this is the tropical forest pigment and I'll add this as splatters. Some of this green um, I'll mix uh, with the teal and some of it I'll let it as is so that when it dries we can still see a bit of green um, to match the leaves. I'll keep working on this till I'm happy with the look. Add black paint splatters, very fine ones. Then I'll adhere my oval frame with foam adhesive and adhere the flower in leaves then pop the sentiment tab and I am done I hope you enjoyed the video and like the card thank you everyone for watching bye Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you 
want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Alt New YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.